Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Yugo Puzzle, where last time we completed the main puzzle and unlocked some harder ones. And we're reminded to take breaks. So what do we have here? At a glance, doesn't look too bad. These can easily get together. And these, okay, here's the problem. We kind of need that blue guy to come down first, something, or ideally. Except for he'll fall in this hole. So maybe we have to use a red or a yellow to get him there, but is that even possible? I suppose... Oh. That doesn't work the way I wanted. Suppose I get these guys horizontally. And then ended up with a yellow who is coming over here to give this guy a lift. Well, <laughs> I solved the problem of blue, but now I create a new problem for yellow, right. So by making a horizontal raft of yellow, and if red's ever gonna connect, yeah, okay, that would not work. So basically, in order to connect red, I need a red above it. In order to connect yellow, I need a yellow above it. In order to connect blue, I need a blue above it. So I can never make two horizontal yellows or Hmm. So I guess I could keep the yellows separate by doing something like that. But then I could never get across like the blue hole to start making a raft for blue in a different color, and I can't use this blue raft. Oh, but I might be able to use this. Oops. <laughs> that might actually still work. Hold on. I might be able to use this blue raft, like, over here to try to ferry you over. Uh, but that's not enough. I would need two different colors ferried over here, I think, in order to get the blue down to where it could actually drop over in here. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. So basically... I want a red to go first, but I want the yellows to stay separate. Is that possible? I believe yes. So here's red going first. Ew, but if I... Hmm. My worry now... Is... Eh, this might work, actually. Oh, but I needed to... Hmm. I need two guys on top of blue in order to have this blue jump down. Actually, is that true? Hold on. Suppose I had done... This is almost exactly what I did before. Was I actually close to a solution and I just missed it? Namely, what if this were here? This guy can jump down, but then he gets glued to this guy. And... Mm, Yeah, so he needs some other color either here or here that he can jump one to the left and then fall all the way down to here. And obviously I can't do that. So, okay, how might I do that? It definitely felt good-ish. Having this red guy here is a way to get this guy kind of all the way across, but then I can't get the other colors I need because this yellow has already fallen down. So is there a way to have red in first and keep the yellows apart and keep the yellows on this area? Yes. So here's red in first. Yellows are both still up top. But I can't use two yellows to do this, right? Or can I? I don't think there's a way to use two yellows to do what I'm trying to do here. If I had the other yellow here right now, this guy could jump down here, jump down here, and jump down here. So is there a way to get the other yellow here? That seems unlikely. Where would it have been coming from previously? Oh, maybe. Suppose I ferry this guy all the way over here then go back for the other one. 
drop him off at the aforementioned spot. That actually seems plausible to me. So if he gets dropped off here, I'm not sure if that's a okay final resting position for him or not. I think it is. Then this blue can go here, and then the yellow can go here, and the yellow can go here. Hey, I found it. Nice. Okay, I'm not finding these puzzles more difficult than, well, these puzzles more difficult than the previous ones yet. I didn't find this one more difficult anyway. Once again, we're back to kind of like the beginning section, like there's no half steps, there's no holes or places where colors are going off screen, so we're just with the basic mechanics. So here, I have to wonder if possibly yellow could jump across some blues over here. This is just three tall, and I can make this three tall. But then there's another hole over here. And if I had two tall of reds over here, I could do it, but this red is orphaned way over here. So maybe what should have happened... Oh, how is this red ever getting through? Mm. Someone needs to push him. Okay, that's an interesting question in and of itself. If someone's pushing this red... Uh, hmm. I see another possibility, which is, oh, this guy can't go here. Uh, that's fine. He can go the other way. If blue pushes this red from the left, then this red can join this one and push to the right. And now this can be used as a portion of what blue needs and also a way to get yellow across. But then I also need this blue, like, on top. Like, if I could have this blue up here, yellow could walk across, and then this blue could walk back across to where it is, but it's not on top. It already went down to the bottom to do the initial push. And without half steps, nobody's ever climbing back up. So once a block goes down to a certain Y height level, it's never coming back up. So... Hmm. How am I getting yellow over here? Is there any other way to get two reds together? Yes. Well, they can go like this, but the problem is one of them would have to already be stuck underneath here in order to squeeze under. Or we need a ceiling, but the ceiling would have to be like 10 high, and there's no way to do that. So... Is there a way... Okay, here's another idea. Uh, let me think about it for a moment. The idea is... I think this... Yellow gets across like that. Oh no, this guy can't move to the right. <laughs> Can this guy pull him along? Oh, this guy could pull him along. Hold on, hold the phone. Look at this. I think I found something amazing. Ah, uh, this guy also can't move to the right. If he could, he could go over here. He could be the shape that yellow uses to get across. And before he finishes that task, he could have also pushed red to the left. Except for the fact that he can't actually move down here. But otherwise, this would be great. Because he would move to the right, he would push red back to the left, that would get these reds together. And then he would move all the way over here, and that would get yellow a way to get across. So is there a way to push this guy one square to the right? Is there a way to push that guy one square to the right? The push would have to come from the left. Which means maybe I could set up the red block first. 
That seems plausible, actually. Because I could do this. Push the red guy through here. Now I have a red block who's capable of executing a push. Then give yellow its first thingy across. Then leave red here. Then do this. Then red pushes across. Hey, look at this. I'm feeling smart. I'm feeling like I've got this game's number. Look out, world. My hubris may come back for revenge in the next puzzle. As often happens. So all we have to do is get all the greens together. Why is this... Oh, this guy has to get out. I was going to say, why is this not as simple as just dumping them all in the hole? This guy getting out is the problem. Which means this guy has to get shuffled around somehow. This guy, if he could get across the gap, could go grab this guy. But then... Where's my... Uh... My little setting thingy that allows me to see the grid. Is that not in the settings or something? I don't think so. There used to be a button here that let me see the grid marks. In any case, I can probably just eyeball this. Yeah, this guy can only fit in with this current width to jump down here. So if he did grab one longer to the left, then he wouldn't be able to fit down the hole. So if I threw these other guys down the hole and got him across somehow, it wouldn't help. So the other possibility is this is the guy who we're getting across. And is that plausible at all? I think it actually maybe is. How would that work? I think it would involve sending a number of guys down here. And then... Yeah, why could I not just do... Oh, uh... Yeah, why can I not do this? Oops. To send this little green guy across. Someone needs to be here to push him. I needed to keep red, probably, for that duty. <laughs> I said duty. Um, okay, could I not have just kept red for that duty? And otherwise done things extremely similarly? Red also has to get on the other side of this little green block. Is that possible? Doesn't seem like it right now. So if red were somehow on the other side of him, he could push to the left. Grab these guys, they could come back out and join their friends. But red is not on the other side, and there's no obvious way to switch sides. If red could have preserved his height... But unfortunately, his height is resting on this. And that was needed to build the bridge to even make any of this possible. Could I have built a temporary bridge that enables red to get across first? So that red was on the right hand side. And then done the things. Seems plausible. Okay, red's now on the correct side. Is it still possible? Oh, ho, ho. Things have gotten a little dicey. This guy's goal is to cross a bridge on a yellow raft here. But unfortunately, this thing has already kind of fallen in the hole such that I don't know that such a yellow raft can... It might still be able to happen. 
Suppose this is here and this is here. We could still have yellow raft. Yeah. And this thing can move underneath them. Yeah, okay, this works just fine. I think I solved the puzzle. I might be good at this game. All right. The power of a good night's sleep. Um, and there's no problem with just doing this. Everything's gonna be fine because that all gets together. Great. All right, 15 minutes and I've already knocked out three of the advanced, quote unquote, advanced levels. Okay, once again, no half steps. Blue is just hanging out. This red seems problematic. In order to, I can either try to get him out or connect him from the top. Connecting him from the top is clearly impossible since no one can climb over anybody else. Is there a way that I could ferry red? Is there a way I could ferry a red to jump up here? I don't think so. Yeah, there's not enough height to do that. So, I, like I was starting to say, I can either connect this guy from the top or... Oh, there's no way to get him out. Unless we can somehow get a ceiling, but there's no way to get blocks up here to get a ceiling. So... He has to be connected with... <laughs> what? I am unclear what's happening here, so let's just start throwing down some blocks and getting a sense of what might happen. Suppose there's a raft. And suppose further... Something, something, something... Ooh, I, I just had a brief flash of insight. Let's hope it doesn't go away before I can do something insightful with it. I think I might have wanted blue first. It was something along the lines of, if this were here, I can't get this far enough over, but if it could jump down here, it could make an L shape like this. And then I might be able to ferry that L, well, I would only be able to ferry it to here. Unless these two were already okay. Is there a way to get two yellows sitting on top of a blue? I don't think so. Like a, a fairy that's sitting at this height. So blue on the bottom, two yellows up there that can then ferry something onto this shelf. I wouldn't need the L on this shelf. Even if I just had this, okay. So in that case, I might be able to use one of the reds to help create the fairy. So what I'm looking at is... Here is a yellow fairy above the bottom of the world that would enable me to ferry... Oh no, it doesn't even enable me to ferry this guy over because he gets stuck. Okay, so that's yet another complication. Wow. So, trying to get a red block here. This is hard. Okay, the advanced puzzles got advanced, or I'm not having the right insight. Okay, well here's something vaguely noteworthy, which is that if I have something that fits exactly under here, it can be pushed from left to right this far over, but we still can't quite reach this. So I think one thing I'm discovering as I play around is this guy is definitely committed to falling down at least to this height. So if he's at this height, he can't connect to this guy, which means the vertical guy has to connect to this guy, which means the vertical guy needs to be here, which means he's going to need to connect this way. And so I'm looking for an L shape like this, where this guy is here and this guy somehow gets stuck to him here, and then the whole thing gets ferried over to the right. So I feel like that has to be my ultimate goal, and so I have to preserve this guy at this height, and connect the other guy to the side of him, 
So it's as though yellow already got stuck here. And the problem is I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get yellow stuck to the side of this other yellow at this height because it's just impossible. Yellow falls down here and I can't move blue because that drops red's height and we can't drop red's height anymore. It needs to stay at this height to eventually ever connect. And I don't see, like there's no opportunity to make the yellow raft any sooner. The yellow horizontal two glob thingy. So it seems like my only initial move, like there's nothing I can do over here that would help. So my only initial moves, it feels like are this. And then I need yellow to not drop down further than... I guess there's one other possibility. Which is... No, there's not another possibility. Like, in order for all the reds to connect, at this point, this guy would have to end up right here, and this guy come over to him. The only way for this guy to come over involves yellow having a raft at this height. But that raft has not yet been established, and I think is therefore impossible to establish. And therefore, the puzzle's impossible. Wait, I just saw something else. If this guy could manage to get down here, then this whole glob would be capable of moving itself to the left and jumping down. So this red does not have to be preserved as high as I was thinking he did. He could be down on the bottom. So long as he is capable of helping this guy get over here. Okay, with that insight, now I can probably do something. Okay, so once again, I want to make a yellow raft, but this time I am able to use a low red to do it. Uh, that's the wrong way to do it. So you push this way. Okay, there's my yellow raft. Now I use the yellow raft to... Oops! Uh, darn. How do I... How do I video game? My goal is to push this guy underneath here. Does this do it? No. Does this do it? No. I did some other move where I had something that was able to push. Oh, but it was a three high red. And so as a guy was jumping from here to here, he was pushing against the bottom of the three high red. And that's what shoved it underneath. And without a three high red, I can't do that shove. There's another possible way for the tall one to move across. Rather than a two yellow wide raft, what if it's yellow and blue on top and red and yellow on the bottom? All right, here's an example of a, I'm gonna call it a multicolor raft. Red and yellow together are ferrying blue. And so I think that's gonna be important. I'm not exactly sure how just yet. <laughs> um, if I'd had this in the opposite order, okay, I have an idea maybe. So I wanted red on the left. So we multicolor raft the fairy blue over here. And then... What if I make a... Okay, so then I could make my two tall yellow. And then... Well, this is, yeah. The one push. Blue makes the one push. But then... <laughs> that doesn't work if I move that to the right. That doesn't work if I move that to the right. This doesn't work if I jump this to the right. So is there anything that could work? I want... Ye oh, I want yellow to be the one who's jumping and pushing. That's what it is. So basically, I want this, but with yellow on the left-hand side of these two. So is that possible? I think it is. Okay, so yellow on the left-hand side. So, multicolor raft with yellow on the left-hand side. Bring this over. Put this here. And now yellow is capable of pushing the whole structure. 
There we go. I think I solved it. Okay. Look at that. I did it. Oh. That was work. That was work. There was a bit of off-camera time there. Um, where do I think I am in an episode? I think I should look at one more puzzle. Maybe this one will be easy. <laughs> Maybe this one will be easy. By the way, if I take a look at the level select again, are there just the five advanced levels? No, there still are more, so there might be like ten more, so there might be fifty. Just from the layout of this, that would be my guess. Um, oops, I went back to the start screen. That's not what I meant to do. I'm going to give this puzzle a shot for a couple of minutes. So, yellow has to be used to eventually probably get this guy down here and the others rafted across. If this guy is here, and this guy is here, and this guy is here, yeah, it seems like the final red shape has to be like this, uh, kind of like a lowercase r shape or whatever. Don't think there's any other things that might work. So it seems like a lot of using yellow... Oh, if yellow gets trapped in here... Ooh, what? So I probably already have to glue together some of the shapes, which mean, mm, which means, hold on, this guy could go here, and this guy could go there. Okay, that's actually interesting. Uh, so what I'm seeing is, oops, um, it seems like this is a shape that could first go here, and then I just have to get this guy dropped off there. Or he could even be stuck on the top. I didn't even think about that. Um, like, all right, that doesn't work, but oops, I didn't mean to. Uh... Can I push this guy farther to the left from here? No, it's gonna cause problems. Everything's a problem. In any case, if I could stick this guy on the top and then move this whole structure to the left, like that's another way to possibly do something, something, something. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm already in bad shape here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so if yellow falls in this hole, could the reds get themselves across this hole somehow, mysteriously? Let's imagine the answer might be yes. And so this guy, he's horizontal, so he definitely needs to stay out of the bottommost pit. All right, there's a few ways that could happen. So let's imagine that yellow's here. Actually, while he's still elevated, let's also bring this guy here. Can this guy walk across this yellow? No. And then this one would have to be here, which is also going to be tricksy at this point. So I think gluing those guys together like that was probably not a good idea. Okay, what if this guy just wraps across? Gets as far as here and then waits for help from the cavalry. Who's the cavalry? Uh, there's no possible cavalry at this point, I don't think. Is there a way to glue these two together that might be useful later? Like, can this ever be part of the shape? Because that's nice in terms of, like, trying to ferry him across. But no, someone needs to stick down. And remind me why it was that the shape is no good. It's because a single yellow block is not good at carrying that across. So again, in terms of the way these fit together, either the tall one goes right here, and then horizontal's here, and final single one is here, 
or single one is here, horizontal one is here, and tall one is here. Or there is higher space, and so it could be like tall and then horizontal across there and single one up there. Like it could be things that stretch higher up into the ceiling. Those seem less likely. And remind me, can this possibly work? Uh, oops. Uh, there's trouble getting him pushed to the left. So yeah, there's a problem with anything that's already this tall bouncing against the ceiling doesn't have a good way to get shoved to the left. Unless it had a little bottom bump that yellow was pressing against, but if it had a bottom bump that yellow was pressing against, then yellow's on the right-hand side of that bump, and then that bump would fall down in here and could never be lifted that back out. So I think that's not possible. So I think basically while pieces are getting clearance to get underneath this little corner right here, um, they can't be that tall. Although they could just uh, walk across on their own. Yeah, that's a possible thing. Actually, this guy can walk all the way over here. That's interesting. So is there... Okay, that's interesting. So if he's three wide, he can do most of the walk on his own. So is there a way to sneak the one past first? No, because this guy's clogging the whole lane. Yeah, I think the answer is just no, because this guy is clogging the whole lane. And the only way... Yeah, I don't see a way to try to sneak the one guy past. And how would I sneak the one guy past using just yellow? Like, the one guy is going to fall in these slots. So yeah, okay. Okay. If the one guy were to go here, how could he possibly get there? Yellow can't ferry him across, and if red tries to ferry him across, he'd get glued into the red. Therefore, I think the one guy is not going here. Therefore, the tall guy is going here. Therefore, probably other implications. <laughs> But I think I'm going to have to think about that for next time. Okay, I feel like we made a lot of progress. I think I can see the end of this game in sight. I'm imagining level 50 is going to be the end. Um, so yeah, look forward to that for next time. But for now, I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again soon for more Yugo Puzzle. For now, bye-bye.